Hello guys, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we returned Trillo to Ben, and he started to talk normally for better and for worse. In this episode, we're heading back to the big top, and there seems to be something here, so let's press on. Hmm, what in the world happened with Ben and Trillo? Quite a pair of those two. What did that puppet... Oh no, now what? Uh, yow! Ah! What is it, Nick? Th th that monkey! Ah! My badge! That monkey stole it! W what? <laughs> Mr. Attorney, that face was so cute. It looks so completely dumbfounded. Regina! You! That monkey! Hey, no need to get angry, okay? But, 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 my attorney's badge! Don't worry, I'll help you out. Okay, if you say so. If you don't get my badge back, then how can I flash it? By the way, the monkey's name is Money. Money the monkey. His name is Monk. M money? Hello, Regina. Forgot her voice for a second, but... Yep. The monkey. It's called Money? Yes. Well, the rich ape just stole my attorney's badge. Mind if I get that back? I'll see what I can do. Even I have money problems. Hey, that's actually a pretty good pun. Eh? Whenever Money sees something shiny, he takes it back home. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Well, I guess I'll just have to find out where Money disappeared to. I think that's your best bet. You should probably ask Uncle Mo. He might know. Huh? You don't know? Well, Money isn't exactly someone I'm on friendly terms with. What? He's not really that kind of animal I work with. He's not really the kind of animal I work with, even if he does need taming. Oh, I see. Go to Mo's. Huh. I guess it is time that I revisit that kooky clown. Do you mind telling us a bit about Ben? Ben? You mean the guy that is always hanging around, around with Trillo? What do you mean, hanging around? Well, he was there when Trillo told me he was in love with me. Trillo told you that he was in love with you. Yes, he did. Kinda cute, don't you think? He's so smart and he's such a wonderful singer. I love him. But, what about Ben? What about Ben? He's got nothing to do with me loving Trilla. Like sand through the hourglass, so are the days of the circus. Regina, you were proposed to, weren't you? Proposed to? Nope, I won't be for a while. Huh? Really? That's strange, isn't it, Nick? Yeah, Max and Trillo both have said otherwise. Said they asked for her hand in marriage. Ah, but Max only talked to the ringmaster about it. I forgot about that. He asked the ringmaster for her hand, not Regina directly. So I guess Trillo hasn't asked her directly yet. What? He's going to propose to me? I'm so confused. How about you, Maya? Huh? What? Who do you think I should go for? Max or Trillo? Wait, wait, you do realize that Trillo is a puppet? Huh? I don't care that he's a bit stiff. Oh boy. So yeah, now that we look in our stuff, we don't have an attorney's badge to present. Hey, uh, so what do you think of Mo? That's Mo. He's such a funny clown. He's been a good friend to my dad for a real long time now. He was good friends with the Ringmaster? My dad always said, when it comes to who I can entrust the circus to, it's definitely Mo. Hmm. Yep, that clown is one lovable stooge. Don't you think so, Nick? You know my opinion on this already, Maya. Um, no comment. I don't know why I decided to present that there. My thumb keeps, keeps going back to the present button. But yeah, we're going back to Mo's room. 
you can kind of see how the investigation starts to get a bit long-winded because it's like, okay, we found this thing, now go here, now go back, now go to the other place, now go here. And I get that that's kind of what in a, the investigation sections are all about, but I feel like the final case in this game is a bit better on that, where it's not just completely going back and forth constantly over and over. Huh? Detective Gumshoe took off already. Yep, just leave him alone for a while, okay, Maya? I'm sure he just got lonely and headed back to the precinct. Oh, yuck. Oh, my. If it isn't Mr. Right all the time. Ugh. It's all right to be wrong every now and then. Now and again. Right? See, Nick? It just took a while for the joke to find its audience. Ugh. So what can I do for you? Do you remember a good joke you wanted to tell me? Pull up a chair or maybe pull my finger and let me have it. We're gonna get to... We're gonna... We're going to get the same sound effect either way, aren't we? How'd you know I put a whoopee cushion on the chair? You... you really know what it takes to be a clown, don't you? <laughs> oh god, hiccups again. Alright, so we're here for information about money, but I guess we can talk about Regina for a bit. About Regina. Regina's such a pure, innocent child. She's such a cutie, too. She was born and raised in the circus, you know. But that means she doesn't really know much about the out the world outside the big top. Sounds like Pearly. For her, every child's dream of the circus is her everyday reality. She lives in a dream world. Every day she's, she sees dancing wild animals, men flying in the air, and one very funny clown. The funny thing is, that all seems normal to her because it is her everyday life. Guess that explains why she thinks she can marry a ventriloquist's puppet. Don't ask me if her reality is a good thing or a bad thing, though. Clown sees life simply without complications. Have you ever heard of a monkey named Money? Oh, yes, Money. Stole my attorney's badge. Well, Money does love shiny objects. It makes sense that you'd swipe your badge. But under no circumstances can you chase after him. Eh? What's that? Oh, I know. You don't want to get involved in any monkey business, right? Exactly! Bravo! Bravo! Enough joking around, though. Money isn't considered a member of Regina's family. Then who does he belong to? I'll be happy to take you where his owner's staying. You mean right now? Of course! Shall we go? Huh, should we go with him now or wait a while? No reason to wait. Let's head... Let's go with Mo. <sighs> this is it. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? I can't breathe. Don't be such a wimp. You only had to climb two flights of stairs. <sighs> Anyways, this is the place. Acro's room. Acro. He's an acrobat. Get it? It seems like he's not around today. Eh? That's a big pile of junk over in the corner. I don't think it'd be wrong to assume that Phoenix's stuff is over there too. When did you learn my name? Oh, when he told the joke. I get it, okay. Just be careful to make sure you've got the right stuff. Thanks, Mo. See you later. Money has been added to the court record. So let's investigate that last. First, let's look at the window. You can see the big top from the window here. There's no show on top of the big top. Kind of weird, don't you think? Or snow, rather. The inside of the tent is warm, so any snow that lands on top probably melts. I guess you're right. The snow probably just slides right off. <laughs> it's a monkey calendar. Whoever's in this room must really love monkeys. Maybe it's a little too much. Wow, I just realized that a y the year is almost over. Amazing how time flies. It's been one wild year, especially the last part. 
Well, we still got one last person to help this year. Max. Yeah, 2017 was not a great year for Phoenix. Maya got accused of murder. He lost his memory. He has to deal with these people. And there's also one other case that, uh... He dealt with in between, uh, games one and two that we haven't gotten to yet. Oh, and also Edgeworth died. So yeah, just all around, rough year for Phoenix. This bed is incredibly well made. It's almost like a maid made it up. Even the laundry on top of the bed is folded perfectly. Nick, there's nothing unusual about it at all. That's how things are supposed to be. Can't a man respect another man for doing something said man cannot do? Hmm, it's got a barbell. Look around. Everything he's got is for upper body training. Wait a second. These are the same machines I see on TV all the time. Hey, Nick! What? I don't have this one. This barbell here is a new model. Don't overdo it, Maya. You don't want to end up a muscle woman. Well, let her do what she wants. Can you just imagine Maya getting absolutely jacked in between games or something like that? Hey, the net's ripped. Money must be prone to breaking things. He's hardcore. Um, the net looks fine to me. Do you think that he plays basketball? I think so. Monkeys live life above the rim, you know? You're joking, right? You think the monkey's got proverbial game? Of course, that monkey doesn't fake the funk on a nasty dunk. Well, a prehensile tail might be an unfair advantage. Finally, we got all the shiny stuff. Holy cow! There's a fork, a, and a mirror, everything's shiny! There's even a really cheap looking knockoff wristwatch. Look at this, it's a trophy. It's really heavy. Nick, I found it! Your badge! It's right here! His attorney's badge has been returned. Thanks, you really saved me. Huh? What's the matter? Did you find something? Yeah, check this out. It's a ring! There's something engraved on it. From T to R. Well, I think it's about time we wrap up our investigation. Do you think we'll win in court tomorrow? Who knows? Even I can't imagine what kind of testimony will come out tomorrow. I'm guessing Mo will be a witness in court tomorrow. Mo and maybe the puppet. Don't worry, Nick. No matter what, we've still got a magician on our side. That's good, because we might need some magic tomorrow. <laughs>